Good morning, welcome back to the channel and another video in this playlist of where I ride uh, professional routes, stages, circuits. Um, today I'm going to be riding stage one of the women's tour, uh, starting here in my hometown of Colchester up to Bury. So, sorry if I sound a bit weird um, or a bit stuffy, haven't been feeling well over the last week, but I thought, you know, got to get out, got to get riding, you know, it might make you feel a bit better. But anyway, so riding on Bodicea Way at the moment, this is where kilometre zero is going to be. Um, to get here, they're starting actually up at the sports park once again, like they did in the last year's stage. Um, doing like a little circuit of the track, uh, then leaving by the northern gate again. Going round on the paths to get them onto Boxstead Straight Road. Uh, and then heading downwards to the mini roundabout, taking a left to get themselves towards the Northern Approach Road. Heading south on that to the North Station train station area. Then continuing south to go into town to go up North Hill. Then they're going down the high street. That's all like last year's stage. And then this is where it goes a bit different. They're gonna turn right and go down St. Bolt Street, down to a uh, big roundabout, swing round it, and they'll be on to Southway. Uh, then going on to the next roundabout, uh, taking a left, going up to, or going on to Molden Road. And then naturally they'll go on to Shove End Road. They'll take one more left at the lights and then they'll be able to go to see away. So after kilometre zero on Bodicea Way, uh, the route goes right down Layer Road and heads towards Layer de la Haye. So this is sort of like the perfect uh, opportunity for the breakaway to get away. Like if they don't want to go at kilometre zero, because uh, there's a bit of a dip. So quite fast down, but it's still quite hard up getting into the village. So, you know, I know, um, the QOMs and the intermediate sprints are quite far away and late into the stage. But still, you know, full combativity awards and that sort of thing, you know, good opportunity to uh, slip away, get some kilometres in your legs, you know, by yourselves or in a little group. Heading around the top of the reservoir now from La de la Haye to the Aberton, Finger and Ho, Row Hedge area. Um, I don't know if other locals think this, but I always feel weird cycling this way around the reservoir, you know. I'm so used to doing it anti clockwise due to like chain gangs, shop rides, etc. So, yeah, so doing it in a clockwise fashion, yeah, it always, always feels a bit weird to me. So if you're not local and you're recognising these roads that I'm on, um, so this was used in the recent Ride London Classic Stage 1, but in just the opposite direction today, so it's a killer. So while I uh, trot along through these villages, just tell you a bit of information about this stage and the race, okay? So yeah, stage one is gonna be on the 6th of June. Uh, they're gonna leave the Colchester Sports Park at the Northern Gateway at 11. Um, and the, the stage is 140-ish kilometers. 
maybe a bit more definitely not anywhere near 150 but yeah about 140 something kilometers um yeah it's a berry not what sure what time they uh they finish but yeah but this is the first stage of six So a bit of a route update. Uh, so after wiggling through the villages south of Colchester, come back into Colchester via the Hive, and then out onto this main road from Parsons Heath uh, up to Manantree, where we're now looking for, uh, well, the Suffolk border, and then the first QOM of the day.
So just passing through the Royal Hospital School now. This is where intermediate sprint number one is gonna be. So I've just left Cape of St Mary, making my way through a couple more little villages and I'll be going up to Hadley for the second intermediate sprint. Um, but so far, there's been a few little climbs that are uncategorised and I'm like, why? Why are they not just got a category? Or at least, yeah, because you know, so far they've done you know, a reasonable amount of climbing and so far there's only been one QOM. You know, I would love to know from an organiser's point of view, why does not every climb over a certain distance or a certain percentage um, get categorised, you know? So, coming to the end of Hadley High Street, this is where Intermediate Sprint 2 will be.
So that's all the intermediate sprints and QOMs done. Now it's just the remaining distance to the finish in Bury St Edmunds. Hello, uh, just editing the video that you've just watched. Um, didn't do an outro because I had to get to the train station quite quickly. So yeah, um, but yeah, it's a great, great route. This this stage is going to be cracking opener. Uh, the finish, like getting into Be getting to Berry itself, is quite quick, quite straight. So the team is going to be like fighting for position once in Berry it's it's you've got to be, they're gonna to have to be at the front to win they've got to get round um quite a big roundabout and it's quite twisty turny and uh, most of it is on cobbles as well so you know yeah it's a, the race is going to be won from about oh, probably about 5k out not not on the line it's, it's going to be whoever whoever's controlling the field the peloton much further up the road not not inside berry but anyway um thank you for watching uh if you liked it yeah give it a like subscribe to the channel you know i'm trying my best to upload when i can um yeah but i hope you're enjoying these videos um i'll keep them coming as much as i possibly can and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one bye bye